Hi guys, sorry I missed you yesterday. I hope you all had a happy holiday. Um, just giving you a quick update. Got together with the same guy last night. He actually came over and we ate dinner with my family. Um, I know people think, ooh, Christmas dinner with the family. Um, I don't know. We're just laid back, so I don't think it's um, as substantial as it might be for other people or how other people might take it. So, um, yeah, uh, after that we went to a movie. It was good. Um, I don't want to say too much about it because I am kind of a private person, which um, I don't know if that's what people are looking for in watching. <laughs> Watching these videos is finding more about like those types of intimate details of the relationships, but that's not something I'm really looking to share. Um, what I will say though is that it's been kind of weird and challenging for me dating in general. Um, I count myself pretty lucky that this person that I met, I actually recognized from my past because if it was a complete stranger, I can't imagine how much more strange this would feel. I'll give you a little bit of uh, background of my dating slash relationship history to give you kind of an idea of why this is so strange for me. So I've pretty much been in relationships since the time I was 16. Um, I dated my first real serious boyfriend for four years and then not too long after that relationship ended, I dated my last boyfriend for eight years. Um, yeah, so I haven't been single for very long and it's weird to be 30 and not really have that much dating experience because there's somewhat of a pressure uh, like I feel the need to settle down. Um, it's, age didn't really affect me, but when I turned 30, it really feels energetically very different for me. So I do feel some sort of a pressure, you know, especially if you want to have kids and a family and I still am not 100% sure what I want. Um, Sometimes I feel like if I'm with the right person, then I'll know, you know, it'll all just kind of come and be easy and all of that. But yeah, so that's a little bit of my backstory and what I have going on right now is pretty nice. Um, but I do want to share with you guys too, I'm home for the holidays visiting my family. So this person is local to this area, but I don't live here. I live full-time in New Hampshire, so um, I don't really have expectations set out for what's going to happen beyond the holidays, um, which I don't think that I should really have expectations at all um, in any situation, which is also kind of difficult for me. I always think like a million years into the future, it's like you, I meet someone and I'm like, because could this be forever? Which I don't think is really a good way to go. I think it's better to be able to, you know, be present and be with the person and see what unfolds. So working on that. And um, yeah, really trying to um, solidify my own foundation, you know, loving myself. You got to be able to love yourself completely, have your cup completely full so that it can, you know, run over and you can share that love with someone else. Um, also having that solid foundation so that when you get into a relationship with someone, then they can't manipulate you, which I, or, uh, or you won't allow yourself to be manipulated either, which I feel like historically has been an issue for me, but um, hoping to change that. <laughs> All right, well, I should be back trying to do this consistently. Uh, enjoy the rest of the time if you guys are spending it with family, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.